Hi there, welcome in and here's a quote. When you live with an open heart, unexpected joyful things happen. Oprah Winfrey. Well, here we are heading into the final weekend in May and inching towards better numbers, more openings, getting our shots, wearing our masks, being caring and responsible towards our fellow citizens. We can do this. One of the side effects of the pandemic has been a scarcity of bicycles and many people wanting to buy one have found it nearly impossible. Now, Rob and I were lucky we already had bikes, but here's the problem. We live on a mountain, or at the least, a very big hill. And while it makes for views like you've seen here on occasion, it also means an impossibly steep climb up and treacherous ride down. What to do? Well, E was the answer. See, our friends found a sale at a big wholesale outlet and alerted us after having done research about the brand of electric bikes and its ratings. So Rob calls me, I'm out one day and says, hurry, do you want one? I hadn't really thought we needed an e-bike. When we wanted to go out, we'd put our cycles on a rack and drive the car to wherever we needed to go once we'd made it safely down the hill. Because you see, we knew the altitude was going to kill us on the trip home. We're about 105 meters or 350 feet practically straight up from the main road below that gets us to Sydney in one direction and the kids in the other. So we took the plunge, so to speak and got two of the last ones. After a whole lot of trepidation, I found the bike and its gears and battery assistance to be really easy to figure out. Now, keep in mind, I'm the gal who, while learning to drive Rob's scooter, which had the heft and build of a motorcycle, drove it into a wall at about 40 kilometers an hour, nine years ago this week. I ended up in a bad way for a few months, and I haven't been exactly brave on two wheels ever since. Oh, and yes, I gave up the motorcycle course I was supposed to start the next day. So touch wood, it's going really well. And best of all, I can pedal when I want and still get exercise. But here's the kicker or kickstand. The day I was going out, I tweeted this. Okay, just back from my first ride on my e-bike, the one on which my husband assembled and calibrated the brakes. So no Josh Mankiewicz and Keith Morrison. There will be no dateline about me yet. Yes, I tagged Keith and Josh, my two favorite hosts of our absolute must-see Friday night show. If you're not familiar with Dateline on NBC, they dive deep into crimes, often disappearances or murder mysteries that go on for years. In my book, I refer to it as grief porn, which helped take us out of our own suffering, if that makes any sense, and we're still hooked. Well, imagine my surprise when Josh liked it and then tweeted, did he urge you to take it for a spin on the Trans Canada? I was tickled by that. And then Keith Morrison, on whom I had a crush back in my teens when he was a CTV News anchor on weekends, tweeted in return as well. False sense of security, no doubt. No amount of wind whistling past my ears as I rode that day at 30K down the hill could match the unbridled glee that I felt just to hear back from two TV hosts I really enjoy. I know it doesn't matter, but in a time when everything is so surreal, that was kind of the psychedelic icing on the brownies. Have a good weekend, fit in some fun, and we'll be back with you on Monday. I hope. You know, Keith warned me. Mm -hmm.